Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. No idea what's in here. I kind of recognize the name on the front, but there's too much stuff coming in. So we're gonna open it and find out together, as per usual, if it is something that I can link. I will link it right down below so you guys can check it out if you want to. It does help my channel if you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And thanks to whoever sent this. Let's find out. Um, you know, I, I hate to make a guess and then not be right. Oh, okay, it's a send guy. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'd love to say I was super excited. Um, it's every now and then Sendcut has something really, really interesting. Uh, this is called the Crowley. Okay. Um, that makes me, I was literally just watching um, Nick Crowley on YouTube. <laughs> Sometimes I like to watch the videos about the, you know, the weird and the obscure. It's an interesting channel. It doesn't have anything to do with my channel. It has nothing to do with knives, but that's what it makes me think of. Anyways. No, hey, it's a button lock. Okay. I am substantially more interested now. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's very good looking. I mean, yeah, you know, the immediate, the, the obvious response and the one that, you know, I, I think I, I can make, anybody can make is it doesn't look like anything outside of, you know, the general safety zone of what Sencut and Civivi like to make, right? If you feel like, hey, that looks like a Civivi, it's because Sencut and Civivi are both under the We Knives company. So they can actually copy each other because they are the same people. Um, this is a little slimmer profile than the, hang on, you know what? I think I still have it. Give me a sec. I have to move some knife cases. Oh, the top one is heavy. Uh, here it is right here. This is the Saxy. Yeah, this is the other button lock from Sencut. So this guy is the same, what's what's the steel? Hang on, this is not a review. Okay, D2. So on this guy, it's 9CR18MOV, which is all right. I, I think I prefer, well, it's hard to say, you know. I like D2 for the edge retention if the heat treat is okay, right? The D2 that I've experienced in this general territory seems to hold an edge a little longer than the 9CR18MOV, but I suppose that's circumstantial, right? Um, the uh, the profile here is one that is a little bit thinner, right? The blade is not quite as tall. Probably would be helpful if I put it in the middle of the screen and zoomed up. Is that helpful? There we go. So we can see here that, uh, yeah, it's, you know what? It's actually a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, cutting edge, also a little bit longer. Um, we have a little bit of a, you know, kind of a, a little more of a suggestion on where to put your fingers, whereas this guy is really only concerned with your index finger, right? They're both very comfortable. Uh, as far as thickness goes, Give you a look from this angle. They appear to be about the same. How about from here? Exactly the same. Okay. Pocket clip still insisting on the goose face McGee, which is there. Eh, it's okay. Um, the micarta looks good. It's got thumb studs. Whoops a daisy. Let's try that again. I do like this area here. Um, how? Yeah. I think this looks nice. So we come back here in the flat. It goes all the way, all the way up. Whereas here, it kind of, it stops like, it stops here and then the flat carries out and then eventually transitions into the swedge. I think this looks good. Uh, says send cut on one side. This guy is also tumbled. Yay, yay, good, thank you, very good. Um, I'm gonna guess that the price on this, this guy right here is probably pretty darn good. Uh, a lot of you know that here, um, very recently I put the send cut Saxy on uh, my top 10 list of the greatest budget knives that exist. And it was the general nature of the knife. The knife is an incredibly boring but functional design, right? One that, you know, a knife design that has been around since I assume cavemen figured out that if they shaped rocks into pointy objects, they would create utilitarian cutting tools. 
Um, yeah, it was a good design is what I'm saying. Long-winded way of saying it was good. And it was a button lock with a flipper and thumb studs and just was very versatile, right? I mean, it is. It currently is. This is essentially the same thing. Mm, but aside from this area right here, this is the only area that's kind of, I'm kind of like, eh. Like visually, functionally, I mean, ergonomically, yeah, it's totally fine. Um, but uh, this, this I like better. I like the finish better. Uh, the final, they feel about the same. Uh, it's, it's still though probable that this guy is just ever so slightly thinner at the edge. Does it drop? You know, they drop from about the same space though. So, you know, maybe not. Cause see, I mean, it's dropping off the flat there. I would assume at the same angle. It's what it feels like. They feel extremely similar. Um, so I don't know. I kind of, kind of feel like I like this one better. Let's do uh let's measure it real quick. We'll measure closed and open length. And I, I never do that, but we're going to do that here real quick. Okay. Closed length. Uh, about 4.6 inches. Whoops. Oven, uh, oven, oven, open. <laughs> Overall length is eight inches. Blade length is exactly three and a half. Cutting edge is just shy of three. It's like 3.4. Pretty good. Uh, inside, let's take a look. I don't know why I closed it. Yeah. Definitely skeletonized liners. Let's go ahead and weigh it here. I know this is all stuff I normally do in the review, but let's go ahead and do it. Weight. 3.32 ounces, which means we have that nice one-to-one -one ratio. It weighs less than the Saxe. It's just a little bit more balanced. Yeah. You know, aside from the fact that the composition that they are um, using on this knife is not quite stainless, I think people forget that D2 is very close to stainless. It's got like 12% chromium, where generally, I know it has more to do with the ratio of chromium chromium to carbon, but it's generally speaking, the line is like 14% chromium, something like that. Um, aside from the fact that the uh, composition on the Crowley is not stainless, it initially appears to be an upgrade to the Saxe in almost every way. Um, I, uh, I don't know, you know, this is why I do the first impressions first, and then down the road I do the full review. Obviously, the Crowley's going to get some pocket time so that I can actually make that assessment officially rather than just saying that appears to be the case, right? Um, but this is cool. I like this a lot. I expect Sencut to keep putting out better and better and better button locks, right? I think we're going to keep seeing that. But as of right now, yeah, this is very, very impressive. Very cool. Um, I will link it down below if it's available. I don't know. By the time you guys are seeing this, it probably will be. But sometimes I'm wrong about that. Sometimes they send things a little bit early and sometimes they send things a little bit late. And you know, what are you going to do, right? I got a schedule to keep. I got to keep these things coming out. I can't be paying attention to every last little. It's hard to know, right? When they're going to release it on their website, when they're going to release it at the retailers that you like to use or somebody else likes to use. It's kind of, it's, you know, I do the best I can, but it's impossible to keep track of everybody's business. I'm just one guy. I don't have a team of people working for Metal Complex. It's just me. So I <laughs> feel like nobody asked, why is he talking about this? I will link it down below if I can. Thanks so much to SendCat for sending this in for me to take a look at. Uh, expect to see the full comprehensive review here in just a few weeks. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.